Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Foundation Friday. So today I have a foundation for you that costs six dollars and one cent on Amazon. I went on another Amazon kind of shopping spree for very inexpensive makeup to see if it actually works. So that's what we are doing today. All right, so we're going to get started, but before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and let's do it. All right, you guys, so this is by that brand that I've been trying quite a bit from. This is the W7 Photo Shoot Foundation. 16 hour wear, budge proof foundation, and I hope that I got the right color. And honestly, it's called Buff. I don't know if that's the right one or not. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and on the site, all it says is basically that it creates a flawless finish, oil free formula, won't transfer onto clothes. Uh, budge proof, lasts up to 16 hours, flawless finish. I looked for ingredients, could not find it, um, but I am assuming that this is a, you know, chock full of dimethicone foundation because most of them are and it's a uh, cheap filler, um, but the color selection, at least on Amazon, is not great. But I just wanna see if this is worth it. There's some hype that's going on around this foundation, so I just wanna see what it's all about. So I do have my um, moisturizer on. I'm using my brand new, very favorite uh, primer. And I will do, um, this is gonna be part of my silicone-free uh, makeup and skincare routine. This is by Ren, it's called Perfect perfect canvas and it does have some amazingness to it skincare ingredients some stick to it and lightweight but I'll so I'll tell you guys more about it during that video um, all right so it says shake well um, since it's oil-free, I am not going to be applying this with a brush because oil-free usually means that it has a matte finish. Um, it is quite thick. It is not runny at all. So I'm actually going to use a sponge. And let's see. So they said that it didn't even say if it's like full coverage or not. So I have no idea what's going on with this foundation. But it is super inexpensive. I still can't find that Wet n Wild foundation that you guys all want me to review, but hey, this is a great price point and supposedly, according to the reviews, a really beautiful foundation. Actually, this color is a great match for me. Huh, finally, once I picked out something online and it actually works. Um, but I am using quite a bit of the foundation Every time I put some out on my hand, it is, you know, probably one and a half pumps worth. It doesn't have a pump on it. It just has like a screw off lid. Um, but it doesn't look super matte. Maybe this is like a skin finish. You know, I wish they gave more information about these products, but that's okay. All right, down the face. Yeah, because look how it's like pretty dewy, right? Am I the only one that thinks this? It's pretty dewy. Um, and it is definitely more of like, I'd say a medium coverage. I know in the um, on the camera, it doesn't show my pigmentation very much, but you can definitely still see my skin through it. I'll be interested to see if this dries down. All right, so that was very easy. It goes on very, very quickly. But look, it is very luminescent. It is very dewy. All right, so let's see if I can build this up a little bit. And we're gonna give it the wear test. Okay, so let's try to cover this up a little bit. Okay, so it does build really pretty but it doesn't build to full coverage, which we know I'm okay with because I don't love a full coverage foundation, but if you are looking for a full coverage, this is definitely not it. But my first impressions are that it is really, really pretty. I'm actually pretty impressed with this foundation, but you do need just like anything that costs a little bit less or most of the time I'll talk in averages. Most of the time, anything that's a little bit less expensive, 
does take a lot more to get the effect that you would with a little bit higher end price point. I'm not saying that ingredients are better, but I'm just saying usually the pigmentation is a little bit better. But this looks stunning on the skin. It's very glowy and dewy. Does not feel heavy on the skin. You definitely can see it though on the skin. You definitely, you know, it's not like water blend where it kind of just like blends and melts into the skin. Um, but I think I'm gonna see what happens when we set the foundation and kind of do the rest of it with the concealer and everything. And All right, you guys, so here's the final look. I actually am pleasantly surprised. Um, it did stay quite a bit kind of tacky until I set it. And I actually did really set it. I set it with a loose translucent powder, which is by Cover Effects. Um, and then obviously I just put regular blush and bronzer on and things like that. Yeah, so it is pretty luminescent. I will say that. Um, it's interesting that it's an oil-free formula because um, it is so, you know, dewy. And the primer I used, I want to just impress, the primer I used is not dewy, it is not matte, it is just like a regular primer. Um, it does absorb oil, um, so it is definitely not adding luminosity to the skin. Um, but I think it's really pretty. It's very lightweight on the skin. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. The coverage to me is a very kind of on the lighter side of medium. That's how I will say it. It is not a full coverage foundation, but for six bucks, man, this is a great foundation. Rivals many, obviously this is a drugstore price, but it rivals many um, drugstore foundations. And this actually feels a lot lighter than a lot of foundations. You know, I really like the uh, Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless. I think that's a beautiful foundation. This is very similar, but lightweight and a little bit less coverage. Um, and I can't remember how much this is, but I believe it's around the same price. I think it's a little bit more, but I actually really like it. I think it's actually a very nice foundation. I wish they, um, you know, included the ingredients, but what are you going to do? So yeah, so we're going to give it a wear test, see how it goes. I did not set this with any kind of setting spray or anything like that. Um, and so we'll just see how it goes. All right. I'll see you guys in natural light though. All right, you guys, so here it is in natural light. I think it's super pretty. What do you guys think? I mean, six bucks, man, done and done. I just wish it had a larger color range, but I think it is super pretty on the skin. I'll get really close so you guys can see. It's not sitting into fine lines or anything like that. It actually sat on my nose really well. You know, I have an issue with foundations that way, um, but I really enjoy it. So let's see how it holds up. All right, you guys, so this is the final check-in. We are at hour 10. It's about 7.45 at night, and I think the foundation is just kind of amazing. I am not overly dewy. It has come off around my nose. Let me get closer to the mirror real quick. Yes, it's come off on my nose, but some foundations kind of gather when they come off. This just kind of wiped off. You know, one of the claims is that it actually doesn't come off on clothes. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but it definitely is long wearing and is beautiful. I mean, it's just stunning. Um, I'm a little bummed that I can't find the ingredients online. If you know where I can find the ingredients, that would be great, but it's such an inexpensive foundation. I would assume that the ingredients aren't so awesome, but I think you can tell this is obviously bathroom light. <laughs> this is a pretty awesome wear at 10 hours. What do you guys think? Also, too, if you guys want this tutorial, this eye, it's so easy, let me know. Um, but anyway, this is such a great foundation, six bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, you guys.